Just one gram of the world's most expensive substance is valued at $62 trillion. WHAT is antimatter. Antimatter, or in other words, antimatter or antimatter, is simply the opposite of matter. It consists of elementary particles that are charged completely opposite to matter. When antimatter interacts with normal matter, energy is released, and as a result of this interaction, matter and antimatter destroy each other. For example, the antimatter counterpart of an electron is called a positron, and when an electron and a positron come together, energy is released as these two particles annihilate each other. Antimatter formed along with normal matter after the Big Bang. Although its cause is not fully known, it is quite rare in the universe. As we learned from Hank's movie, antimatter can cause a massive explosion when it comes into contact with matter because opposing forces are not compatible. Why is antimatter expensive? Antimatter produced using CERN's Large Hadron Collider LHC is extremely rare and extremely expensive and difficult to obtain. NASA scientists determined the cost of producing just one gram of antimatter in 1999 to be $62 trillion. This figure becomes even more remarkable when we consider that the International Monetary Fund IMF, estimated the total value of the world economy as $104 trillion last year while the operating cost of the CERN LHC is approximately $1 billion annually, electricity costs also reach $23.5 million annually. To create this substance, the accelerator must accelerate to nearly the speed of light, greatly increasing operating costs. Considering that the time required to create antimatter is approximately 100 billion years, the $62 trillion price tag becomes a little more understandable, where is antimatter used? Although antimatter is an unstable substance, it is incredibly useful. Experts think this material, when used carefully, has the potential to support intergalactic space travel. It is currently used in medical imaging equipment, especially positron emission tomography PET scanners. Positron emission tomography PET in medicine. Antimatter is already used in medicine. Positron emission tomography, or PET scans. Use positrons to diagnose conditions such as cancer and brain diseases, space exploration and propulsion systems. Antimatter's theoretically incredible energy density makes it an ideal candidate for spacecraft propulsion systems. Antimatter-matter reactions produce large amounts of energy that can be used to accelerate spacecraft. High-energy physics research particle accelerators such as the Large Hadron Collider are used to produce antimatter particles and understand the fundamental laws of physics, energy storage, and production. The theoretically high energy density of antimatter could be a potential solution for energy storage and production in the future materials, science, and tests. It is possible to use antimatter to examine the internal structures of materials, astrophysics, and cosmology. Antimatter plays an important role in the study of astrophysics to understand the structure of the universe and mysterious phenomena such as dark matter. How was antimatter discovered? Theoretical Foundations 1928 the concept of antimatter was first proposed by British theoretical physicist Paul Dirac in 1928. Dirac developed an equation that unified quantum mechanics and the special theory of relativity. This Dirac equation suggested that the electron may have an antiparticle. This antiparticle would have the same mass and life as the electron, but the opposite electrical charge. Experimental Discovery 1932. The first experimental evidence of antimatter was provided by Carl Anderson in 1932. The first experimental evidence of antimatter was provided by Carl Anderson in 1932. Using a cloud chamber in his cosmic ray research, Anderson discovered the antiparticle of the electron later called the positron. The positron had the same mass and lifetime as the electron but an opposite electrical charge, as Dirac predicted. 